Congratulations on the film. Very eye-opening movie. A movie that I feel was very personal and raw and very real. Um, so this is a two-part question for, for you guys. Um, for you, how do you feel telling your story and unleashing it into the world? And then what was the difficulties of playing a role where you know it was so closely connected to the director? It was, a very, it was an act of vulnerability. It's very scary to put something out in the world that is so drawn from my own life. Um, but I think that I very much wanted to make something that I wish I could have seen growing up. Um, and the film was intended for young women who, you know, are unheard and misunderstood. And this, the movie was an act of compassion and the goal was always to like engage with people on a very emotional level and find something, provide something for an audience that they can latch on to, um, even in a highly specific story. It's still a coming of age story that's hopefully universal. Um, but it was it was honestly a very difficult thing in the writing process and then in the shooting process and then eventually in the editing process to watch the film and make it and realize there were parts of myself that are really exposed in the film. Um, but I think that in that's how so much great art is made is by putting yourself out there in a way um, and going toward the terrifying thing. Um, so I think, you know, uh, overall it's terrifying, but I, it, I, f I feel like the way that people have been responding to the movie has been very validating. Yeah, I think when I first read the script, um, it felt incredibly personal and very intimate and tender, and it was so clear that this was so special and uh, important, and um, it was definitely intimidating, and I had never done anything like this before my background's pretty much in comedy, so uh, we really would dive in in the deep end. But I just completely trusted Minhal, and um, was really honored to, you know, tell the story with her. So um, I run a critics group where we focus very heavily on voices and elevating those voices of underrepresented people in the industry. And I was curious for both of you. Um, you both have been very vocal about this on on Twitter. Um, do you feel? Do you feel? Oh, no. Do you feel like the industry is finally changing? There's progress being made for sure. I feel very indebted to the filmmakers who came before me, who paved a path for filmmakers like myself to exist. There's so many um, wonderful female filmmakers that have reached out and have done so much good work. Um, so I. I don't feel like the first of anything. I feel like I'm coming in a long line of women who have made incredible movies and have paved the ground for us. Um, and I do think that even though there's greater awareness um, around having people share their stories and personal stories um, and having more inclusivity behind the screen, I do think that there is a demand that outpaces the supply. Like I do feel like there's such a demand for these stories and there's only so many of them that get made and so many of them get financed um, and so many that get distributed. So at each stage there's fall off. And I feel like we, the business needs to support those voices and nurture them more and allow them to grow. Um, and that's, I think that's something that we're contending with now um, it's not just supporting a woman of color making her first movie, but hopefully supporting her as she makes her second and third, and if she wants to do episodic television um, or work in virtual reality, these are all things that we need to nurture in artists um, and support them even past their first feature. That's great. Um, I mean, really, everything went <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, as an actor, I guess, I've definitely noticed um, a difference in the last couple of years, and it's, like, a very exciting time to be coming, like, to be in the industry, and, um, yeah, I think just with each, um, with each example, I think we just need more films like this to succeed and to prove that it is profitable <laughs> the business and that like it's only beneficial and that they do it works and um 
yeah, so I think it's a really exciting time. I wanted to ask, in terms of takeaway from this movie, like, uh, you know, these are a lot of people who are going to watch this are going to learn something. Um, so what, what do you hope that an audience member who's maybe not um, a Pakistani will take away from this movie? I'm hoping that they can find compassion for Hala and um, understand this inter- internal struggle. I really feel like we do a disservice sometimes when we diminish the um, problems that young women go through and we trivialize their experiences. And in this movie, you know, I really try to give space for this character to r- go on this journey and for us to really be along the ride for with her, even if she's not always making the choices that we agree with. Um, because I do think young women are the future. Um, they are at the forefront of, of all things, you know, in terms of environment, environmental activism and politics, in changing culture. I feel like young women have taken the lead in all of these things. Um, and it's really critical that we understand and really and embrace like the woman, the coming of age story of a young woman, the heroine's journey is just as valid and valuable um, as the hero's journey. This is one of the first films to be put on the brand new Apple streaming service. Um, there's been so much talk. I'm not going to bring up a stupid Martin Scorsese question. <laughs> I don't care. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm just curious on your own thoughts. Um, what are your, what's your take on the whole uh, being part of a, a, a new service like this? Is, is it an exciting time? Is it a new, like, I don't know, stage of filmmaking and storytelling? What, do you, what would your take on that? There's two parts. There's, like, two sides to this. I think it's very, you know, film, filmmakers make movies to be experienced on the big screen and to go to theaters and have a communal um, shared experience. Um, and that's something that I really value, and I go to the theaters and I watch movies. But I also feel that it's really important for, really important in distribution for access. And I think what's really great about Apple TV Plus is that this service is, this movie will be available in over 100 countries. And that's a really special thing, a really special release and a bigger platform than a film like this would usually get. And I Mm. think that's, that's kind of amazing. Like the biggest, the most important thing for me is for people to be able to watch the film in the format they wanna watch it. Um, and so we are having a limited theatrical release followed by a streaming release. I think it's more important. The stories are the most important thing. The rele- the platforms, whether it's in the whether it's in theaters or streaming, is is secondary. Like we need, like we have had a problem of access before of people not being able to see movies or not being able to afford movies. Um, and I do think streaming opens up. Um, just film going and going and watching the movies and watching films inside of your home, own home as like a culture. And I think that that outweighs the, the, the cons for me. Like I really do feel um, that streaming has opened up a lot of avenues for underrepresented voices and for stories to be shared that would otherwise not get made. And that's, that I think is like very emotional for me. And like, I, I really value that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.